Good evening, everyone. The battle over gun shows at the fairgrounds Nashville may be headed to court. The largest gun show operator at the city-owned facility and the Tennessee Firearms Association have now filed a lawsuit against the city. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon takes a look at why they say they have a strong case. Emily. Well, that's right. The lawsuit claims that the Metro Fair Board violated Tennessee law and the Metro Charter when it voted to halt all gun shows at the facility unless operators complied with new safety regulations. But now plaintiffs are hoping this this lawsuit will ensure that gun shows can continue there for years to come. A tradition at the fairgrounds Nashville remains under fire. Now the battle over whether gun shows should be allowed at the facility is the subject of a lawsuit that didn't come as a surprise to Metro Council member Steve Glover. I still regret that the taxpayers will pick up the tab here. Uh, I believe this could have been avoided, but it's not. So it is where it is now. The lawsuit filed by the Tennessee Firearms Association and Bill Goodman's Gun and Knife Show says the Metro Fair Board overstepped its authority when voting to stop gun shows starting in 2017 unless operators meet new safety requirements. It asked the facility be available to Goodman and other promoters without government restrictions. Glover agrees the Fair Board's vote violated a Metro Charter Amendment designed to preserve existing activities at the fairgrounds. I thought the Charter Amendment uh, that passed in 2011 was pretty darn clear. And so I, I regret we're here, but I guess we're, uh, uh, we're going to find out the, the outcome as we go forward. This doesn't change anything. Fair Board member Kenny Bird says the board did not violate state laws or the Metro Charter, and he expects the lawsuit will be dismissed. This is a ludicrous argument to make. Um, and imagine this is basically a lawsuit saying, you know, wah, you have to let us onto your property. You just have to let us come. Bird says the board's vote was based on safety concerns and attempts to compromise with show operators have failed. Every indication we've had from them is they won't even back down a little bit on any issue whatsoever. And, um, and any, any concession we've ever asked for, they, they say that it is preempted by federal law. While the debate continues, the issue may ultimately be settled in court. In a statement, Dave Goodman, the president of Bill Goodman's Gun and Knife Show, thanked the TFA for joining in the lawsuit with him. He also released a statement saying, we want to stay at the fairgrounds for years to come, and the law-abiding gun owners in Middle Tennessee want us to as well. While the fairgrounds is not the only venue in town, we want to be there, our customers want us to be there, and we expect to be there through 2017 and beyond. Reporting live in the newsroom, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.